Alright, so overall, I think we can agree Aqua Teen was, um, it's memorable. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. Certainly. Alright, so... Alright, number two on the list. Now that's been 30 minutes. Uh, number two, <laughs> they have on here, and... No, I, I think we can make a couple. There's just so many, like, cartoons from our age, but... Well, uh, Harvey lot. Birdman, another show that I've never seen more than an episode of. Birdman? Harvey oh, Birdman. Really? Attorney. I thought that was a 90s thing. I remember watching that in the 90s. Um, it, I mean, it, it, it's one of those Adult Swim shows that, like, early Adult Swim shows where they're just reusing the Hanna-Barbera cells that What's-His-Face bought. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's what they've all been known for. I was talking about, like, you know, the actual Birdman, like, not, um, the Adult Swim one, but the one that was the cartoon, like, when we were in the 90s or something, it would just be those quick clips where they play, like, old cartoons of superheroes and Birdman was just one of those complete failures. Uh, no offense, but, like, I don't remember Birdman being memorable in either DC or whatever Cartoon Network was a part of. Well, that's the whole joke of... That's the joke of Space Ghost and of Harvey Birdman, is that none of these characters were interesting at all. Yeah. Uh, John, I think you're thinking about Hawkman. Totally different. That's a DC hero. Are you, are you sure? Because yeah. I remember hearing Birdman. No, Birdman was a Hanna-Barbera hero. Hawkman was the bird-themed hero of DC. Oh, yeah. It's almost like they were lazily written, but continue. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, they, they just decided to use clips of um, those characters and put them into, like, funny, like, weird-ass late shows and um, just put whatever One of Stephen Colbert's there. earliest roles, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember watching this clip on YouTube. Uh, I forget what it's called exactly, but basically they go in and... Uh, Stephen Colbert is Harvey Birdman's boss, I think. So yeah. He's like, he runs the firm or whatever. And for some reason, his, like, vision's, like, fucked up. I forget why. And he's like, please, come in. Sit sit down in my office. And 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 Harvey Birdman sits down in the chair. And he's like, not there. There. And he points at another chair. <laughs> no, he doesn't even point at another chair. He points at, like, an open space. <laughs> and and oh, Harvey's think- like, what? And he's like, no, not there, there. So he tries to sit. God, oh man. I need to rewatch it. Sorry, I'm not even describing it correctly. <laughs> the execution of it, it's such a dumb joke. It really is. But Stephen Colbert's like commanding voice just makes it work so well. I think I'd also like to mention, I think we should all be thankful for Stephen Colbert for like when he was starting out in acting and everything, especially for Adult Swim. Because I feel like any Adult Swim show wouldn't have been interesting without him voice acting in it. Like, everyone's just being like, oh, I didn't know he was in that. And then you'd realize he was, and it was like, oh, thank God for Stephen Colbert. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely in a lot. Of, I mean, him and, like, John H. Benjamin. Yeah. Um. Who else? There, There's, like, a, a nice uh, uh, Dana Snyder. Mm-hmm. He's in a ton of early Adult Swim stuff. I think that's it. Okay, so. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that's number Next two. Next one. Um, this one I do not remember in the slightest. Sheep in the Big City. Yes, oh my god, that was my favorite show. I loved that show so much. It was Does so weird. This? You have a sheep that has an apartment in the city, you just moved from afar and be like, Bah, sheep this, I'm leaving. And he wants his, his farmer wants him back and sometimes forgets about him. And he, there's like some kind of, um... He goes through a lot of weird things in the city life. I, I I forget exactly what it is, but it was just so... Ah. Okay, so th- this is a cartoon I've definitely... I feel like I've probably seen almost every episode of. Mm-hmm. And I could not tell you a single thing that happens in any of them. Because we all mm-hmm. had the minds of a sheep. Andy, game-wise, isn't this spooky? What is this now? Sees all the hearts. Gotta... This is, is this Kingdom Hearts? Seize all the hearts. Try not to No, they're, they're talking about the Great Heart. <laughs> no, it's like a laboratory. Like a place where you would maybe write a report? An Ansem report? Oh, oh shit. It. It's yeah, just been reading all the Ansem reports. Do right? any of you guys like, see this as a Yu-Gi-Oh card? <laughs> yeah, that's yes. the back of the, the, the back Yu-Gi-Oh, of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Card. I turn my card face down. Okay, do we have anything more to say about sheep in the big city? Um, I do like wools on a sheep. It's very fun for knitting. And yes, I knit. So let's carry on now. Okay, um, <laughs> X-Men Evolution. Um, what? 
Really? Was that the one where it was like it's it's not like they It starts with the girl who can tell like who can go through walls, right? A uh, rogue. Yeah, her. Or, right? uh, no, uh, uh, Kitty Pride. Yeah, I I only remember that one. Other than that, I didn't really pay attention to it as much. Well, oh, I, I love the X Men uh, comic. I oh, shit. never see on the show. Oh God! Yep, who is now this? I remember. <laughs> X Men. Fight fucking this. Satan. Oh my god, it's literally Satan from Fantasia. <laughs> Hold on. Did you guys see his face? Yeah. That's like the worst, like, reaction face. <sighs> They're even playing, um... Ah, uh, now I don't remember what the... What the name of this piece is. I feel like his Definitely. face is, like... Kind of melting off on an angle. Uh, <laughs> is it just me, or is that every Actually, it's not it's Satan. Bit. It's a demon called... Oh, nice <laughs> oh, sorry, my bad. Oh, he's coming out of a volcano too, though. He's yep. hot. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, I have nothing to say about Chief in the Big City. Oh no, we we were doing X Men. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I have nothing. To say I remember about nothing about this. Uh, next one, uh, House of Mouse. No one. House of Mouse. I've seen a little bit of House of Mouse. I don't know. My oh, House of Mouse. I didn't watch Disney Mouse? cartoons. It's the show where, like, uh, Mickey Mouse, like, runs, like, a, a club. A club. Yeah, yeah, and he has all the... It, it, it was it was popular because you had all the famous, like, you know, cartoon characters that was a part of Disney in it. So, you know, you would have all the villains, you would have all the good guys, and, you know, you'd have some Disney characters being waitresses or waiters, or, um... And all they would do would just play uh, old clips of like old Disney films. Did they have the racist crows from? Yeah, they did. They had the racist crows. Yeah, and they also made like they also made up like new ones. Whoa! <laughs> all the minority characters were the servants. Yep. Okay, I remember that one. That was okay. It's like it's like when you say the Beatles uh, plays with the Rolling Stones. That's how people got excited about it because you had all the Disney characters in one place and. And woo whatever. <laughs> Alright, now we get to fully cartoons we'll remember from the 2000s. Ooh, super glad. That's not okay, what con okay, something concerns me about this because it says it's been aired. You know what, let's give you guys a bit of a quiz with this one. So see if you can guess them. Uh, this is started airing in 2001. Mm -hmm. um, no, you'll get it right from the description. Um, SpongeBob. <laughs> No, that was earlier than that. Um, really? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought SpongeBob. One of the co-creators of uh, Don, uh, Johnny Bravo. Yeah. Oh. Um, the co-creator. One of the co-creators. Isn't he uh, the one that also makes um, Hotel Transylvania and Samurai Jack? No. No. No, that's not him. I that's think, that's think... Dendi Tartaroski. Yes. Co-creator. Okay then. Um. um Famous for a kid messing with his babysitter? Oh, um, Fairly, the odd, fairly parents. odd Parents. There you go, Fairly Odd Parents. That, uh, that really came out in 2001? Yep. I, it actually started out in the 90s, I remember. Um, do you remember Oh Yeah Cartoons? Yeah, Yeah, it was like a short on that. Yeah, it first. started out as a short. They actually, they, they actually succeeded, so they were able to make another episode on Oh Yeah Cartoons. So, I think like three. And like... The second one was my favorite, because I, the first one is, like, when they're introduced to, um, you know, Cosmo and Wanda, but the second one was when the Vicky, the babysitter's, like, little sister, she, um, invites Judy. him to, she invites Timmy to her birthday party, and he doesn't want to go, so he asks Cosmo to do something to make sure she doesn't kiss him, and he makes her face into a toilet, I think. <laughs> It was one of those, and <laughs> that's why I liked it, because it was disgusting and weird. I, I do remember really liking that show as a kid. I don't know if I'd ever be able to, like, revisit it, though. Oh, well, like, yeah, looking at it now. that's what bothered me, is 2001, apparently it's still airing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, New so it is. I have so not seen it from when they had the kid. I've never seen an episode with them the kid. I've just seen, like... Rushes for it. Yeah, no, I stopped watching that when um they had Cosmo inflating. <laughs> so, <laughs> Fucking wars. 